of your carbon footprint. Um, and I was disappointed in that class. Although I worked very hard in teaching the class, I didn't quite feel that I had reached uh, the students the way I should have. And so fast forward to today, it's just amazing to see the uh, awareness now uh, of, of the word sustainability and the idea that we should live in a way that doesn't compromise our future children's opportunity to, to live in a sustainable environment, to have a reasonable standard of living and a lifestyle. A few years ago, uh, in one of my design classes here, one of my students said, my dad runs a recycling business in Chicago, you should do a project with him. Well, I get this about once every year or so, and it's usually some dad has an idea or family that they want to do product design, they're all going to get rich, and they want me or the students to design it for free, and, and away we go. Um, fortunately, it was not that, but it was actually better. Um, Willie Cade uh, was the man that runs PCRR Recycling in Chicago. He's uh, spoken here several times. He, um, in talking with him and learning a little bit more about his background and passion for this problem called electronic waste, uh, I, it, it really spurred me and uh, to change my direction a bit in terms of sustainable design thinking to center it on the problem of, of electronic waste. You've seen a lot of uh, stuff that CBS News has done recently on Ghana and uh, Gaiwu, if I'm uh, close to the pronunciation in China where uh, the open pit burning and reclamation methods of, of trying to, uh, to deal with the, the crap from the, uh, the, uh, uh, from the Western world that gets dumped on the lesser developed countries of the world. It's a horrible legacy that we have and it's uh, occurring every day here. Um, uh, there are billions of electronic products that the majority of those, according to the EPA, wind up in the landfill or worse um, in this country. To me, it's not so much that the, that stuff is in the landfill leaching out and, and causing problems, although it does cause very serious problems in some of the less developed world. It's the problem of all that, that value that's simply underground not being utilized. And so uh, I've gotten very interested in, in the topic of, of electronic waste and how can we uh, avoid that in the future, obviously. But we have a huge problem on how to deal with it right now. So what we've done, thanks to the Student Environmental Committee, that's all changed to a different name now, but same kind of uh, challenge is because of the uh, fee that the students voted in here at the university. We were able to get a small grant and teach a class to study the electronic waste problem here at the university and also begin to understand it nationally and internationally. We did that for a semester and, and got encouragement to uh, resubmit, got another grant to do another class in which we uh, hosted the first Illinois Sustainable Design um, e-waste design competition last year. That's online now if you want to look at it. We've gone international this year with the competition. The, we just received uh, Dell and of all companies, Walmart. Yeah, Walmart is uh, really serious about being sustainable. They are in a position to make some serious changes with their, I'm convinced personally, they're beginning to do. Um, they are sponsoring this competition to the tune of $20,000 for about six teams that are going to split that uh, probably equally. And uh, so you can look online at www.illinois, excuse me, uh, ewaste.illinois.edu. And if you look on the home page, you can switch back to see the results from our design studio classes and other teams of engineers, designers, and uh, computer scientists and others around the university last year that created uh, useful things out of what we call, really created uh, e-opportunity out of e-waste. So, uh, so that's just one of the things that we're doing. We're enjoying it this year. We are collaborating this year with the county in a countywide collection event, so I would encourage you if you want to uh, recycle your e-waste, your electronic waste. How many people have an old computer sitting around at home where your parents do? Yeah, it, it's fairly typical. Most of us do. Uh, you're afraid that the data is going to get out. I have personal information there, perhaps. Uh, but we're doing research in this area to try to understand this problem. So we'll be doing a short survey 
uh, on the, uh, I think it's the 27th of February, up at the News Gazette Distribution Center north of town here on North Market Street. So bring your electronic waste by. You can bring at least 10 items per household and, uh, and, and be begin to recycle those. The great news is that the company that's advanced technologies recycling up in Pontiac, Illinois, has agreed to provide our students in the e-waste class now, we're doing it again this year, uh, with items to, uh, to uh, create useful design. So we have about 80 students enrolled in a class. We're teaching over in the architecture building uh, that we have. Uh, it's open to all university students. Uh, they, they are just beginning to design some neat stuff out of this material. And we're doing a lot of interesting lectures and trying to understand this huge problem. What we're after eventually is to make, in addition to, to solar energy, make the University of Illinois the center of research in electronic waste and electronic problems because we don't understand totally what is happening, why we're turning this stuff loose. My own field, industrial design, is part of the problem. We make those things look hot and really neat, make you want something, and you throw away the stuff that's still useful. That's bad. So my reason for being involved is I think I'm part of the problem, I ought to be part of the solution, and we're having a lot of fun with it. So thank you so much for providing the opportunity.